हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक बॉन जॉर माई नेम इज हिमांशु परिहार एंड आई एम बैक विद वन मोर एपिसोड ऑफ इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंसेस दिस टाइम वी हैव विद अस आई आई एम कैप राउंड एक्सपीरियंस कॉमन एडमिशन प्रोसेस ऑफ इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट मेक श्योर दैट यू टेक मोस्ट आउट ऑफ इट बिकॉज ये एक आई के लिए नहीं ये दस आई के लिए इकट्ठा होता है एंड द स्टूडेंट हु इज गोइंग टू शेयर विद अस विल ऑल्सो शेयर द प्रोसेस the preparations and the resulting factors around it let's welcome him so welcome how was your overall experience till the hot seat of iim cap round online or offline the basics of it let's start about it so basically so basically uh, caps round uh, it's it's a uh, ongoing process but i had my on the very first day of the caps round so uh like sir mentioned uh, it's basically for 10 ims the new second generation and third generation ims as such uh and uh, i think uh, it's based out of your cat percentile this year they increase the uh, cut off for the general and other categories as such and uh, yeah That's all theek hai so was it conducted offline or online uh, online sir last year also it was conducted online most of the time it is online only i guess like last two times i remember it's been conducted online only so uh, what were the guidelines that were given to you were you made to fill some application form to for them to ans- ask or answer or just directly pi uh apart from your cat form uh cap round has other uh, other application form basically it had uh just normal stuff you have to upload your 10 12th graduation marks it and all and uh, something about extra curricular activities and your work ex you have to explain your work ex in the limit also okay so you mentioned about uh, everything in detail or in just brief points that you wanted to do uh um, work ex you have to explain like in the 300 to 400 words as such and extra curricular you can have it according to you i think thing before the actual pi starts yahan par un logo ne already aap se ek preview ek pre form mangwa liya hai to make uh, the questions short and maybe to already know about you in detail so that's why directly on point questions agar wo aap se puchna chahe to they can ask this goes to every uh, aspect of that candidature as well as to the panelists who are asking the questions to you so how many panelists were there and uh, what was the time that they gave you to st- appear on the screen so mine was on the 12th february the very first day and i was in the afternoon session and i think i have to join at, uh, around 1 115 pm and uh, there was no slots given to you as such you have to wait until your uh, uh, your pi comes so you will join the zoom meeting as such and the host will let you join when your chance comes so i i think my interview came around i think 3:30 as such so i have to wait i think around 2 hours on the laptop as such and well you are lucky enough to wait for 2 hours one more student of ours has waited for 5 hours till the time it started so that's really exhaustive but thankfully let's uh, talk about the first question on how they uh, wanted to greet you and how did they wanted to start so basically i had two male panelists in my uh, pi and the very first question they asked me where are you from and so i said i am from bilwada rajasthan and they said you are uh, giving interview from home i said yes so they didn't ask me about anything as such and they uh, second they asked me about my background so i said i am from btech from nit trichy so they said okay and uh, the very next question was about determinants and matrices so they asked me about a particular matrices i forgot the name of the matrix but they asked me uh, what's its so i said i don't know i can't recall so so they asked me what's the application of determinants and matrices uh, so i mentioned two mat- uh, applications as such and uh, i think he was not sure not satisfied as such so he asked me what's the basic difference between a quadratic and a cubic equation that i explained very uh, good i think and uh, uh, he asked me about uh, my experience as such like your work ex uh, where you did what's your role was that so i think some cross questions regarding that and uh, are we good to go with the flow that first introduction then some academic questions and then they came on the work ex uh, sir they i think mine was not academic as such like uh, it's basic 11 12th stuff i will say but 
I'm not sure it's basic also because I can't recall it determinants and matrices as such. So uh, I think introduction they didn't ask me much into about it. They basically asked me from uh, where are you from? That's just you know that's that's that only. And some questions regarding my work ex, uh, how you did like what's your role? What basically you are uh, doing in that? So I I explained my work ex. Then he asked the other uh, uh, panelists to take on and second one was asking me some general questions as such but i will not set it as such general uh, he asked me about my role model and okay. business uh, domain as such and after that he asked me you would be uh, happy to know if you can answer what was the role model you mentioned that time uh, so basically i mentioned mukesh ambani and i gave my reason as such because of its diversification being from a petrochemical business he's moving to telecom e-commerce and now uh geo financials as such so i mentioned that so the next very question was around geo financials as such like any recent happenings with the company uh but i was not aware of that so i said no sir i'm not aware. okay tell me one thing uh, there are many times when we prepare for interview and we have some personality in our mind that we are going to speak when they ask was it the same personality that you have planned? Yeah, it was just an abrupt one. Abrupt one. I didn't. I yeah. So I didn't plan as such. Uh, but yeah, I mentioned Mukesh Ambani because yeah, you know him at least. Yeah. So students, it happens that most of the times that what we prepared actually doesn't land in the right questions when they ask you. Uh, please remember, something is better than nothing. If you have at least five four personalities in mind, one will definitely fall into the place. And he had it with Mukesh Ambani. Let's make you rich enough to reach over there, but you didn't have any clue about the happenings around Geo. Yeah, Geo Financial, I didn't recall because uh, uh, I read newspapers, it was not around Geo Financial as such, but yeah, uh, it is in the news because it's uh, being backed by a big uh, Reliance company. So I mentioned that, but I think he was not satisfied with my answer. A small tip for everyone those who are preparing for interviews and wanted to answer some role model of them especially in the business sector, like Mukesh Ambani, they, these big companies mostly host their AGM, that is annual general meeting, and they really put forward the plannings for the next year and what they have achieved in the last year. So you need to uh, check out the reviews of that AGM so that you can recollect this year only, he has appointed uh, his son and daughter for next businesses to be uh, headed by them. And I hope that you also be aware about these AGMs. This will give you a quite good look about their companies and their happenings that the interviewer might ask. What is the next question that you remember? The next question was, I didn't recall uh, as such, but he asked, me, he asked me to tell me the five things that's going to change in the future. Any five things? Yeah. So basically, I said tech. Uh, as I said, the fintech sector will be, uh, will be growing and will be a major sector. He said, okay, the technological uh, aside. He said me more, uh, like say, say more about them, uh, other stuff. So I was moving towards AI. He said like a tech is over. So don't, uh, don't speak about tech. So he was pushing me to have other points. So I mentioned demographic change, like the older people are becoming like now India has a younger population, but in the future generation, it's it's have a older population. So I mentioned that so he mentioned that what will the issue? So I mentioned that workforce will decrease. So the government will have will be will have to bear the other burdens about the senior citizens as such. So he said, OK. And then I mentioned one more point, but I can't, I don't recall right now. And then he asked me about the 17 SDGs. Uh, so I was not aware at that time. SDG refers to sustainable development goals. So he asked me name a few. Have you even remembered the full form of SDGs? What the hell is that? Like, like uh, I was confused. Uh, he uh, he uh, told me like SDGs are sustainable development goals. So I mentioned like carbon neutral uh after like india has a plan to have a carbon neutral up about around 2070 you made it up yeah you were sure about it i know about that this carbon neutral but he wanted me have a more like there are 17 sdgs huh. that have been governed by the un as such yes. so but i was not aware at that time so he mentioned he said okay so sdgs was the next question sustainable development goals nobody in any interview room has prepared for it but still you need to handle the question the way it comes to you. He handled it with his quite amount of good knowledge, naming the teams, uh, 
carbon neutral uh, future of india and do do you know any other thing that came out of your mind suddenly uh like i was saying but he stopped me he said okay uh let's have let's end it here and he asked me have a look at it yeah that was my fear so he actually helped you while answering ke sustainable development goals i'm asking so that's a good point at least they are giving you the full forms as well they are not so brutal about it if you don't know if you don't know no no they will definitely try to hint you if you find out the hints possibly you will at least take care of one or two points as he did anything else that you want to remember for the wrap up rounds please uh now my interviews was around 10 to 12 minutes so i think it was short only and uh, yeah like uh, basic uh, though i was not asked as about the gk question as such but the other students who i know and I, I, who i am joined in the telegram uh, telegram group they i had read some transcripts so it's for some it is uh, gk heavy but it was not asked for me last year also they have asked about the capitals in the currencies of multiple countries without any uh, relevance direct out of the blue questions so yes gk is heavy he is right about it and if you join some telegram groups that can really help you mb interview prep kind of groups they will definitely give you a transcript of what the re- recent uh, interviews are going on they are not so reliable 100% but they definitely benefit right that's it from our side yes sir yeah any one piece of advice for the documentation that you want to give them before handling the interview were you asked to bring some aadhar card etc no uh, like uh, in this process you didn't had to show anything as such but uh, uh, we had a telegram group so as i have seen others so you have to be very sure what you are uploading uh, uploading in the application form because i have seen students who have been uh, who had issues with 12th uh, mark sheet as such so make sure you upload right documents and right uh, right things and around your work ex also uh, govind was uh, it conducted on google meet or zoom zoom make sure students that you know how to handle these kind of platforms they keep on changing sometimes they take meet sometimes they take google meet this was zoom that he took for them that's it take care bye bye